So hello, I'm Fabien Bancars, the founder of uh, OpenERP, and I will do a presentation focused on the framework of OpenERP, which is called Open Objects. Just one word about, about OpenERP. OpenERP is a full-featured uh, open-source enterprise management software. It covers accounting, stock management, manufacturing, uh, human resource, project management, and so on. It's fully modular, so you can, for instance, just install a project management system or just an accounting system, or if you bring them together, you have a fully integrated uh, software. Uh, here we'll talk about the framework of OpenERP, which is uh, called OpenObject. And OpenObject has several features, like strong modularity, object relational mapping and model view controller, some workflow, report designer, and things like that. So I will do some demonstration on how we can use the different tools of OpenObject to create or modify quickly an application. On OpenObject, when you develop, you have at the same time a rich client and a web client. We have two different rich clients, a KDE one and a GTK one. I will show you on the GTK one. And a web client, which is... Uh, yeah. First, uh, how does it look like? When you connect to OpenObject, you have a server and several clients. So here is the GTK client, for instance, where you can manage all your menu and operation, like the calendars of meetings or the leads and things like that. And you also have uh, the choice to use the web client, which is this one. And you have exactly the same thing in both clients. When you develop, you get both directly working. Uh, and uh, normally, I should have the, the same menu. Uh, and thing. You have lots of modules. You can install more modules, and you get more features. Currently, we have 500 modules in OpenERP to manage everything you, you will need. Uh, I can, for example, connect on a bigger database where I install more modules, and you will see some of the features you will be able to find in OpenERP like financial management, project management, stock, wearers, anything like that. Maybe we can just have a look at for project management. You will have some uh, GAN chart to planify your project, like this, with some drag and drops, uh, fully Ajax, uh, like this. Now we'll show you how you can develop your own feature or customize what exists in OpenERP. So let's start by uh, the model view controller. For the model view controller, you have some objects and some view. The objects are Python files, and the views are XML files. Suppose you want to change the partners. So that, that's the form of a partner. If you want to change and add more fields in the system, you can develop this as a module. I hope you see something. Yes. Uh, so we'll just change the partner object and add a field within it. Of course, you can do that in a separate module, in your own module, like order IDs. Field.order. So I just create a new field, which is a many to ma one to many field that links sales orders and partners. Like this. So it automatically, when you update the module, it automatically, automatically changes the, the schema and update the database and the object relational mapping. So normally, if you want to see it, you also have to add it in the view. You can change the view in the server side in the module as an XML, or just use our editable view system to add a new field uh, here. Like this, order IDs. And now I should see the list of orders related to my partner in my object. That's a one too many link, so it includes several sales orders in my partners. That's one of the change. So in open ERP, you have more features. You can also change the, the workflow. So I connect on my order database. And I will show you how you can change the business logic uh, without, within a few clicks. Every document has a business logic. So if I take, for example, a purchase order, I create a purchase order with this supplier, and I will buy some PCs. Mm -hmm. Like this. Basically, the workflow of a purchase order is two steps, if I print it. Uh, I will not go into the details, but you first confirm your purchase order, and then you approve when you get the acknowledge of the supplier. 
So normally you have two steps like this, confirm and then approve. If you want to change this, you can uh, develop your own workflow as in your own modules. I will not develop in the, you can develop this using the XML or you can do, use the workflow editor. So let's take the workflow editor as an example. Customize, workflow, and I will change the business logic of this document. Every document can have its own workflow or several workflows. So here it is. Uh, suppose you'd like to add a validation step. Validation. And according to the amount of the, the total price of the purchase order, you'd like to be to validate the system. So I will change this. Edit. It's Py everything is in Python. So uh, if the amount is lower than 1,000 euro, then without validation. And if it's bigger than 1,000 euro, I need a validation. I, I say here that I need a signal, which is the user press on a button, which is purchase approve. And strictly stronger, bigger than 1,000 euro. So according to the, 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 the total of my purchase order, I will have two different logic. So up. I create a new one by duplicating this one. So it's a request for a quotation. I confirm, and it's directly approved. No need to click a second time on the, the approve button because it's lower than 1,000 euro. If I do another one, which is bigger than 1,000 euro, like this, which is uh, 1,700, I confirm and it's directly approved. <laughs> That's not normal. I should have forgotten something. OK, in 15 minutes, I don't have the time to debug. <laughs> so let's just see something else. Uh, you would like to print or, or do you, you'd like to print the purchase order if, uh, if it's approved. So we create a new link and print a purchase order. So I connect this workflow to actions of the system. The report to print of purchase order already exists in the system, so I just have to select it. It's a client action. So when the, 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 the order is approved, I'd like it to print the purchase order or send it by fax to the supplier, for example. I save. Here it is. Uh, I do another one. And I confirm. And you see that it prints automatically. So you can connect everything against everything and develop your own business logic quite quickly. Suppose you'd like to change this report. We also have integrated a report designer in OpenERP. For this, I have to install the report designer module. And you can, using uh, OpenOffice, design your own templates of report. We also have, uh, in the trunk version of OpenERP, we also have uh, OLAP, uh, Business Intelligence um, Multidimensional Statistic uh, Engine, where you can compute statistics based on an OLAP cube in Python. So if you want to change the, the report, just open OpenOffice. And you have a module in OpenOffice where you can connect to OpenERP and using the same login and the same password, uh, change, for example, a report, modify an existing report. I will take my purchase order, open, and I do some changes, like uh, putting this in the middle, this in red, up, and I can add a signature or total of the order. You can add some fields, some loops, or anything. Add a field. It connects to my server on the order. It's connecting through web services uh, using XML RPC, so sometimes it's a bit slow. And I put a field here. So you modify every document, and then you can push back to the server using adding the corporate header, and it will change the way the report prints on the server. Uh, up, purchase orders. I select three purchase orders. I print, and it should change the way it is rendered. You see total of the order and some colors and such. So let's come back to my slides. Mm, here it is. 
So you have a strong obje object rational mapping and MVC. You have 500 modules that already exist. So for example, when you develop something, you inherit from uh, another uh, object like product, and then you get all the features of product. It's synchronized with uh, Joomla or, or Magento. If you inherit from uh, document management, then it's accessible via FTP or a web dev. Uh, you can modify some workflow and process. What you see here is not the workflow, but the end user's process. That's more something like a, uh, a documentation for, for the end user. So if I want to see the process of the purchase order, it's the same thing, but more user-friendly, so that the end users knows what's happening when they click on each button or thing like that. It's very useful for ISO 9001 companies. Uh, you have some report designer. I showed you the report designer based on OpenOffice, but you have statistics, uh, report designer, and things like that. And uh, yeah, if you need more information, you can go to openerp.com, which is the software, or the community, which is on uh, uh, openobject.com. And just one note, we hire one system administrator, three Python developers, and two project managers, if you are interested, and we are located in Belgium. So here it is for my presentation. It was quite short. Uh, I wanted to develop a full module from scratch in 15 minutes, but it took 20 minutes. So I decided to use slides and show just how you can modify things uh, on the fly. But uh, trust me, you can develop uh, very quickly uh, new features and rely on existing features on, on uh, open objects. So thank you. Uh, I still have three minutes, so if you have questions, I'm open. Yes? Uh, is there any proper documentation about this? Yeah. So I, I take some time on the website and uh, it's kind of uh, You have uh, doc.openerp.com? Can you repeat the question? Ah, he's asking if you have uh, documentations, proper documentations on OpenObject and OpenERP. For OpenERP, we have two books, uh, 600 pages, and both are accessible online too. For OpenObject, there is the developer book, and we just realized a memento that summarizes everything uh, in a few pages a few days ago. So it's on the Twitter, you, you can get the link to the... the I don't have uh, my internet connection and don't have time to set it up, but you can check online. <coughs> yes? Uh, for the installation? Uh, so he's asking how is the installation uh, working? Ah, if we have customer, yes, we have the post in France, Whirlpool, um, um, the Chamber of Commerce of Belgium, Singer, um, quite big companies, but we also have lots of very small companies. Um, I have 50, uh, 80 employees, 30, 23 in Belgium, 16 in India, and we just get a contract of 3 million of euros, so we plan to hire 20 more in Belgium. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Here's a, here's a box of Belgian chocolates. I